What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Kaguya sama Love is War, episodes 11 and 12, the end of the first season. Now, before we get into anything, I do want to let you guys know, as some of you guys are aware, some of you guys aren't, but the first and last season of every show that we do here on the channel, um, the full length version, which is normally available exclusively on Patreon, is available for free for everyone. So click the link in the top of the description. Enjoy that free full length. Come back here afterwards for the review, and if you guys do enjoy that and want to keep it for the future, consider checking out that Patreon. Great benefits over there. Make sure you guys go check that out. Also, follow the Twitch, subscribe, all that lovely jazz, all the typical plugs. I'm going to hop right on into this, stop wasting any more time. Kaguya-sama, Love is War, episodes 11 and 12. Uh, I would read the titles normally, but they're so, so, so long. Let's hop right on into it. Starting off... Twitter. <laughs> They're bringing Twitter to the Kaguyaverse. What's that? I've never heard of such a thing. I love their logo for it, you know. So this is how she relaxed. A little bit of bath salts, a little bit of tunes. Lounging in the bath. I get it. Just when she was gonna relax. But the letters are garbled. It's like a I am not a robot check, you know? Can I use my bank password? Yeah, it's just like my entire family. Oh my god. I don't mean to be so relatable, but Kaguya is literally my family. They have an analog calculator just like that. They get all their info from the search, like the Yahoo homepage or the MSN homepage. Oh my god, I just got like literal PTSD. And I'm like Hayasaka trying to relax, play some Valorant or something, and they just all want me. That literally is the best thing normally when it comes to things, social medias you're not used to. Yes, please go relax and enjoy yourself, Hayasaka. If she comes and gets you again... I agree. They have a private Twitter. Like, come on. I see. Miyuki has a private Twitter. I did not think I'd be getting a social media episode on Kaguya. The front door is wide open. Everyone can glance, you know, see, come and go, see you as they please, you know. You asked them. And it sends them a notification. It would mean knocking on that door, yeah, asking to be let in. I love this song they play when they're in this little mind game, you know, in my 140 character monologues. They're making such a big deal out of this, it's so funny. But to a girl her age, with the man she likes, you know, this is life or death during during school, you know, so I get it. See, she's so she's thinking way too deep about this. Like, if some if someone ever thought this about me, how what does he tweet? And little they know I'm tweeting the size of the shit I took, you know, whatever. Like, I'm just saying. If Kaguya opens this door and ruins her relaxation one more time, I'm gonna be livid. No. Hayasaka loses. Oh, none. And they didn't meet up. Damn. I know. <laughs> She's really had enough. Okay. Why are we getting pork bone broth ramen? Sounds actually delicious. So Chica... Is getting some ramen with this random guy. She knows as well. 
This guy thinks he's like a ramen sommelier, like a connoisseur. He's the expert. One of my people. All right. Firm. That's funny. This is like uh, Henry Henderson from Spy Family. Oh, at the end of the day, you're not elegant. I, I overestimated you. Itadakimasu. I don't know. Getting a full bite like that looks pretty damn good. I don't know. That looked like a damn good gobble. I know, right? She's just happy living her life eating ramen. So when she's... <laughs> this guy is fucking shook. The Metro's four ramen kings. What? <laughs> What is this, like, One Piece? These are the four ramen kings. What about the garlic? Mmm. She did. She went for it. This animation is so funny. The wall of womanhood. <laughs> what is this episode, bro? A ramen connoisseur. I would like to join them on their escapades. I am very jealous. I'm a novice. <laughs> this guy went to a ramen restaurant and had a roller coaster life cycle of emotions all in the matter of a couple of minutes. And she could just eat in some ramen. The youth is the radiance I lost. <laughs> this man's having a self introspective. To her, she was like, I've just got a normal bowl of ramen. What the hell was that episode, I have to say? She has them all noted. Can't send it. He can't go through with it. Alright, she's going out. Miyuki also went out. See, I'm more like... What's his sister's name again? K? Ray? Something like that? She's like got the whole summer outfit on. It's probably boiling outside. Like, look, this man's... Hell no, I'm not wearing that. She also has her school uniform on. So they both said I'm going out just to get out of the house, just to feel like they're doing something. And they're both going to school during the summer. Hmm. She, they cross paths and not even know it. They, she just left. Crazy to think about. kind of a rare thing said results of today's match none damn because they didn't meet up that's kind of kind of sad there's nothing happened that's the end of that episode i want to i want a happier summer for them man after credit scene i don't have any summer memories from kaguya but, i mean we fireworks are amazing we need vacation, we need summer memories, and we need fireworks. Okay, we got a whole... Kagi is the perfect example of you need a bucket list to do. Aw, kind of sad. For a lot of people who have everything but nothing at the same time. Damn, Dad summoned her to the main house in Kyoto. I agree. Shouts out to Chica's sister. It is logical, but logic doesn't always work in this world, you know.
This is our first time seeing Kaguya's dad. We've seen Miyuki's dad. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying, Hayasaka, shouts out. She's going through it, man. That's why she's like, it's just... She says this, you know. The huge downside to having super busy, super successful parents. You're not the highest priority, you know? I can't... Okay, so we're going to the fireworks. We're going shopping with the squad. I am way too excited that we finally get some happiness, because that kind of depressed me right there. Goddamn, Kaguya. All right, on to episode 12, the final episode of season one. Let's do it, guys. I can't hear the fireworks part two. So this is the sequel, yes, to Kaguya's monologue of depression, I would say. Look at the sparkle in her eyes, man. I know. I am way too excited for this, just just for just for Kaguya. Like she deserves this. Like I take fireworks for granted, you know. I get to see them every year. Even though personally, I'm not the biggest fan of fireworks, especially being a YouTuber. I must say, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'll be out here trying to watch some anime, just fucking hear nothing but pops outside. What? Uh, you tell him to suck my nuts? You think I'm not going to this? F I'm saying this firework festival. Oh, no type. I don't care if this is like a prison break episode. We're getting Kagi out that house. There's no way. I hate the way she thinks, and I. But you can't blame her for the way she thinks at all. You know, she feels like she just needs to suck it up. It's it's okay because it's been this way her whole life. There's nothing going to change. She's been used to this, you know. Her father's never done anything nice. So it's like, it only makes sense for her to think this way. It just sucks that it does, man. Roger. She saw he saw that tweet, and he's getting to work. I like her profile picture too, but we're not letting this happen. Oh, and it was uh, Hayasaka who tweeted that. If that's not the truth, misfortunes never come singly. The days until summer's over. Yeah, he's not lying about that at all. He does want to see her immensely bad. Ayasaka is a great wing woman. That's all I can say. Talk about preparation. This had to have been Hayasaka who set this up, but holy shit, Tarzan. Okay, she came swinging out. Hells yeah, I'm telling you, she is the best wing woman. That's why my boy Miyuki's about to pull up right now. He got the gist of the plan. Don't think like that, Kaguya. Don't think like that. No. He just rode right past her. I wanted him to pick her up. Okay, she's got the plan. Keep going, Kaguya. You're making it. Put in that work. Right, Ishigami. Come on, Chika. These are the squad right here. Come on. And the love of my life, Miyuki. Shirogane. I don't need love or romance. I just want my friends. I want some happy memories. Do one thing good for me this time. There's a literal light at the end of the tunnel. That's kind of depressing, honestly. We didn't make it. I was so... I was so sure we'd make it. I feel bad, because Kaguya is such a strong woman. Like, she... 
don't get me wrong, she's an emotional, hormonal teenager like every other teenager, but like she puts on this very independent, strong face all the time, and she truthfully goes through some shit, you know? <laughs> With that music, that OST plan? Come on, come on. That is funny. Shouts out Miyuki, being a real man. <laughs> we finally made it with our friends. Here we go. They committed to showing her some fireworks, so let's see it. I respect the commitment, the dedication. Need some real ass friends right here. Then I'll step on it then. This is a... I know, right? What is this guy? Fucking Batman? Big four. He's one of the ramen kings? No wonder he's so badass. He's one of the four ramen kings? Please, for Kaguya's sake, please. Oh. Beautiful. Kaguya's like... Expressionless. Wow. Talk about a fireworks display. I love seeing the car on the bottom. Of them. Really? Oh, I mean, don't get me wrong. I get it. You like that boy Miyuki. Go for it. Go for like a kiss or something. Damn. That's a bar. Heartbeat so loud you can't hear us. Plethora of fireworks, man. Kaguya doesn't want to avoid him. He regrets so much. Cringeworthy lie. <laughs> He's just thinking back on his game. I'm like, damn, bro, I should have been way more smooth. I am, I am this way, not really when it comes to women, but when it comes to arguments all the time. Like, I'll think of an, something I should have said in an argument like 10 days later, and I'll be like, God, damn it! She had the night of her life, though, Durden. Don't think she's thinking of your cringeworthy lines. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. That's what I would assume. It's it, it's because she likes him too much. Like avoidance. He's just like... Hm. The tension is building... Without a word being said. Just barely missing. Like two aircraft in a dog fight. God. <laughs> She's just dying of dust inhalation. They all crossed. She just... You just wanted to make an asterisk. I just, I'm. What? Don't get mad at her. She's just like, what? She's like, I know. She's like, what the fuck are you guys doing? <laughs> now they're making. <laughs> what? Imagine someone seeing a clip of this show, just seeing this, and being like, what the fuck is this show? And he gets shot down. Oh. oh. This time for sure. And if they cross again, I'm never watching Kagu. So I'm like, oh. How much you appreciated him. Thank you. The hell is going on here? Heck no, baby girl. She he she's saying that was painful to your chest, not to what just happened. No. 
Jesus. Results of today's match. They were back to normal. Second semester has begun. So this is what we get for season two. I swear I'll make you say it. You'll say I love you. Maybe we will. Who knows? Season two, I doubt it. Season three, maybe. I'm excited. Well, talk about a finale to a season. I do love how it was a continuous, somewhat little mini arc about a little bit deeper into Kaguya's story and her character development. Because don't get me wrong, she's very independent, strong, funny, like I said, very smart, very intellectual. But she has a lot of insecurities and a lot of deep down, like depressing aspects of her life, whether it be her best friend being her assistant, not having any parental love whatsoever, not having any outings with friends, no summer memories, no family vacations, not, you know, like there's a lot of things which you always hear about in TV shows and movies where super, super, super rich kids get like the least amount of love from their parents because they're so busy and money is their number one priority. And I understand that. And it's just, I was not expecting it in this show and for them to touch on that. And then Miyuki to be such a, and Miyuki, Chika and Ishigami, I can't knock them and Hayasaka for them to be such great friends and go out of their way. Like it really does show that Kaguya has a great set of a great squad here. Great caring members. This, the student council is amazing. Shouts out to Miyuki, Ishigami, Chika, uh kaguya hayasaka all of them super dope love seeing the fireworks love this I, I i'm very excited for season two very hopefully someone of one of them does say i love you i don't know if this is going to be continuation of the same like little three-part anthological stories in the episodes i have no idea I am very excited though. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe and to click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. If you guys want to already see season two or watch the full length version of these episodes and all the other shows and movies I'm watching on the channel, check out that Patreon. Links are down below like always. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day Dapper Squad. Peace out.